bottom one, which is this one. I know that I have one of those already. It's been used. This one is new, so I got this one. This wasn't there. This is new. So I got that one like that, which is totally cute. And then this one has been there that says Merry Christmas. See that? I got that one. These were 60% off. And they all came up through the other side. And I picked up four bushels. They're $1.49, 60%. And I still got the additional 25 off. So that was... Oh, wait, that wasn't just it. Here's some other stuff I got at Michael's. I didn't get much. So I actually behaved. I was pretty good. I got these... And the reason why I got these, they are on sale now 40% off, but I usually like tend for them to wait until they have, and I actually picked up two of the elf. That was just too cute. And I'll just wait and I'll get them then, but then what happens when I go back in to get them? I cannot find them. So I was like, let me just get them now before I don't get them at all. And I always try to get them when they're on sale. I try not to have this thing jump all over the place. So that is it guys that's what I um what I finished was that I'm gonna start another one once I clean this and clean the jug because like I said I have made a gold one I made the silver one I shared now I did this red one and I'm going for a green one so those are the colors and I actually was tempted to do a shabby um wreath with white and pink and then I was like uh it would be nice to have, but then that means I would have to probably decorate my tree white and pink and uh -uh, not my cup of tea. I like the traditional Christmas colors in my house. Okay. Oh, did I share this? I got this at the dollar store also. Look how cute this is. And for a dollar. This is perfect. This does have a hole just on one side. Oh, the hole is just on here. Probably they changed their mind. But this is great. You can do a little flower arrangement for the center of your table. Just saying. All you have to do is add the foam, put the flowers in there. And I did buy flowers. I don't know where my flowers are. I think I left them in the room. Yeah, I might have left them in the room. But I did buy flowers. Um, some point, poinsettias. There you go. So I'm just going to stick this in here in the meantime until I decide how I'm going to do this little guy here as a centerpiece. And then, yeah, I'll take it from there. So, I need to start making some Christmas cards before the time catches up. And I need to make the cards. I really do. I need to do a lot of things, and I need to catch up. I am so, so behind on everything, and I have packages to send down, and I know I kept on saying it, but... Seriously, the boxes are lined up in my room full of stuff, and I yet to close them up, only because I have to get the cards done. So, if I um, find myself taking too long to get that card done, I'll just use a little regular card, write a little thank you and whatever in there, and out it go, right? It's the thought that counts. <laughs> so, I'm always thinking about you guys. I really am. But, I just hate when I can't, like, do things by myself. I have to wait for my husband to drive me here or there. I am just... You guys know that the surgery goes on my right foot, and I haven't driven for a bit, so, yeah. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. I just don't know. So I'm going to try this thing here. I'm still running my mouth, right? I don't know. I, I'm looking at this, and this seems like something they would have at Michael's, right? It says, storage with wheels. Great for shoes and more. Use under the bed or inside closet. Clear zip lid protects from dust. Wheel makes it mobile. And I could probably, if it works that good, I can probably just add wheels to the other two. Let me get my light bulbs out of here. Because I, like I said, if I can just keep this right here, I had to buy more of these. And I needed to actually get the smaller size so you guys can see I buy different sizes so we didn't have the mini mini ones that I like but that's okay I just throw them right there and as you guys can see this is what I'm talking about you get two more in there you see there's a, a zipper where is it and you 
use it both ways. And perhaps maybe I can just take this and store my ribbon in here. How about that? Look, guys, you get three of them. Oops. <laughs> oh, I almost knocked that over. So I think this is perfect. I can put my Christmas ribbons here for the time being. Where did I put those? I even dropped one on the floor, too, already. So let me just share with you guys so that you guys can see. If you see this at your Tuesday morning for $20, three of them, and you can perfectly store your ribbons there, hey, why not, right? And I like to put my ribbons by their size, so. And I got the rest of them up there. But, see what I'm talking about, guys? Look how nice this holds the ribbons in there. Look at that. Perfect. So, there goes the one usage for the one. And then, here's the other one. And I might just add the wheels on each one of these. I do have the little tiny, tiny screws. And I do the have the small wheels that I've never used on other stuff here. So, I'm going to try that. I just wish they had another color. But that's okay. So the largest one is the one that has the wheels. And the other two just come like that. And I just want to actually just store my embossing folders. I could even probably put my die cuts in here. You see what I'm talking about? Because these, they just fall in just like that in here. Look. I'm just showing you guys how this can just... You see how you can just store them there? And... That's it. Either I am going to transfer them to bags that I have. Because I also store my dies this way. And this idea I got, I think it was Dee, Dee Special Things. Hi Dee, she was the one who shared how she stored her dies with some magnetic sheets she picked up at the orientaltrading.com. And that's where I actually went in and I purchased mine also. And I spend a lot of time doing cards for them. Because they didn't fit anymore. And I think I... Oops. I dropped something. I'm supposed to share this. You see how I have my dies in there? And I could still fit other ones. So what I did was... And I just have the two... The only thing was, I didn't find any more of these at Michael's. I've been wanting to see... You see, like... But anyway. I did just cover it and then did washi tape. I put the type of die. I just cut the little thing out. And my die is there like that in the front. So as you guys can see, I have ticket dies as well. And then, and they're side by side. There's one little die here that's just floating around. I don't know where it belongs to. But I'll figure it out. So you guys see how I do that. And that's, again, I got this idea from DD Special Things. And that's how I have my dice stored. What are you crying for? And then you guys could see. I keep them stored like that. And I can see what's the die that's underneath there. And I still can fit a few more here. So I'll try to fit a few more. And then um, my embossing folders will probably be in that one. Because I do have a lot of them. And some other dies that don't fit. And the ones that um, I have that are the Tim Holtz, I have like the CD rack thing that my daughter had for her movie. She didn't want it, so I took it. And I, you can actually mount. My son had one, my daughter had one. And they didn't want it, so I mounted them both up together. And that's how I have all my um, Tim Holtz dies. So that's how I store those. Alrighty, guys. Anyway, I shall talk to you guys later. Hopefully, um, I can get something done today again. And just listen to some music, like I was told. <laughs> so thank you guys for the advice, uh, Minerva. And yeah, listen to some music and then just keep the groove on. And you hear her crying? She's driving me up a wall. What do you want from me? She's just laying there crying. I don't know. That's how she's been all this time. Alrighty, guys. Bye for now. Have a great weekend. <laughs>